Hello, this is a short demonstration on how students can prepare or participate in Sci2Chat, the Twitter chat between scientists and high school students. Uh, students, the first thing you'll do when you get on Twitter, if you are on a computer or on your phone, of course, is to do a search for Sci2Chat. Uh, S-C-I-S-T-U-C-H-A-T -T with a pound sign in front. And after you do the search, the next thing you'll do is you'll click on latest. That will show you the most recent tweets um, on that hashtag, give you a chance to see the discussion that's taking place. Uh, when the chat starts, um, you'll be expected to introduce yourself. And to do that, you'll start a new tweet. You'll make sure the hashtag's in there. And if you've done the search, it'll be there already. And then you just say, hi, my name is whatever. Here and then, you know, maybe say your purpose or something you like. Um, and maybe it'd be a little bit weird to say, learn about basketball, like to play basketball would probably be more accurate. Or say something about yourself, or I don't know, just keep it real and honest. Your next job is going to be to reply to a scientist and welcome them to the chat. So when you see that a scientist has said hi in the chat by seeing their tweet, hi, I'm a scientist, I study this, or glad to be here to talk to students, then reply to them. If you want to make sure they're a scientist, just roll over their, over their ID and see what their bio says. And then you reply to them and say something to the effect of thank for joining us. I'm not sure why I made that hashtag. And then include the hashtag in it. You can say welcome or we're glad to have you. Thank you for taking the time or whatever and then and then hit reply. Make sure to always include the hashtag. In fact, actually, students in my classes, please always also include your your uh, class hashtag as well. So students in my classes, please include the class hashtag and size to chat during the chat and then hit re and then of course you'll hit reply. I'm not actually send that now because we're not in the, in the chat. A quick review of what we talked about for participation while we were in class the other day or recently. I want you to first of all retweet the question when you see the question from the official moderators uh, Q1 Q2, that will, that's what you'll see. And I'll, pro I'll probably be one of the official moderators. And then I also want you to answer the question with A1 or A2, including the hashtag and the class hashtag. And then, and then I want you to find a scientist to reply to or to ask a question to when they post their answer. So let's pretend that this was an answer posted to one of the questions. I want you to hit reply and write in the hashtag and the class hashtag. Or whatever class you're in and then and then ask your question or make your comment about what they said now make sure the comments are positive and professional and this is actually the most important part of the chat is that you respond to people and comment on what they say or ask questions about what they about what they said just as a review and to wrap things up here's the expectations uh, get on this get on the hashtag at 720 or so just so you're ready at 7.30, introduce yourself. Make sure you include the hashtags, uh, size2chat, and your class hashtag in all tweets. An example, my name is Adam. I like to play basketball when I'm not working. I'm here to learn about uh, learn about scientists. And then, of course, the hashtags. That's from between 7.31 and 7.33 or so, in that first beginning time, welcome, us, welcome two scientists to the chat. And it might look something like this. You find a scientist to reply to you by putting your mouse over there. ID to see the profile, see that they're a scientist and reply to them and say, welcome to Size2Chat. Thank you for taking the time to join us or something to that effect. You can make it your own and word it in your own way. Next thing is to make sure re to retweet the questions, then answer the questions, always including the hashtags, Size2Chat and your class hashtag. And then the whole point of the, of the chat is to have a discussion with scientists. So this is the most important part, number six. Reply to a scientist's response to a question or comment that is professional and positive. So make sure your comments are professional and positive to scientists and include the hashtags. And do this for three of the questions. All right, that should cover it. Thank you.